keep it nice and clean Not freak out and cause a scene I try to hold it together Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel Rosie Home. In today's video I am going to be doing a deep clean of my daughter's bedroom Maeve is in the process of being diagnosed for some allergies but basically she's suffering from hay fever type symptoms, coughing and sneezing at night and I think she might have a dust allergy. So to help combat that I am going to deep clean her room, I'm going to hoover everywhere, I'm going to dust all the surfaces, I'm going to hoover her mattress, I honestly didn't even know that was a thing that you should do, so her mattress has never been hoovered, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to turn her sheets, I've bought some special dust mite bedding which I'll share with you, um, I'm going to put that on her bed, I'm going to change her sheets and yeah I'm hopefully going to make her room a lot more suitable for her allergies. So if you have a child that is suffering with their allergies, I hope that this video gives you some great tips in which you can make their room a little bit more comfortable for them. Ada is in the room with me, so she is gonna be tearing up the place as I try and clean it. So yeah, just try and ignore her. <laughs> but let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the rugs from Maeve's room. That is something that is really important if you have an allergy sufferer to make sure that any soft furnishings are washable and these are. I'm then going to get my hoover ready. I'm using this brush attachment on the end of my hoover to get rid of all the cobwebs. I'm going to go around decobweb with the hoover. I'm going to dust all the shelves with the hoover. And the reason I'm doing it with the hoover is so that all the dust gets sucked away and it's not being moved around the room. I'm hoovering up all the dust that gathers on top of the curtain rail. I'm also going to hoover my blinds, which is such a good hack. Blind cleaning is my most dreaded job and it is so annoying, but if you close your blinds and actually hoover every slat, all the dust comes off and it's really quick and easy. So I would definitely give that a go. Monday came and swept away All the fun of yesterdays But I'm gonna hold it together This ain't forever the blinds are now beautifully clean. I then moved on to hoovering the windowsill. Again, I just got in all those nooks and crannies, hoovered up all the little bits. But I'm so getting tired. No, won't you I then hoovered behind the radiator. This actually wasn't too bad, um, but this is normally an area where dust does gather, so always make sure to do the radiator behind it and underneath it. I then took Maeve's duvet off her bed because I wanted to give her duvet a wash. Again, making sure you have duvets and bedding that is washable is very important if you have an allergy sufferer. If you do a hot wash at 60 degrees, this will kill dust mites. I then went back to the radiator and used this duster to go right behind there and get rid of any last little bits of dust. There were a few bits I couldn't suck out with the hoover, so using the duster to push them down got rid of them and then I was just able to hoover them all up. I stripped Maeve's bed and gave all her bedding a hot wash at 60 degrees. Come, come, come with me. I'm gonna get this party. I took all the picture frames and accessories off her shelves, gave those a really good hoover. I wanted to do a really good clean around her bed area because that is the place where she seems to suffer the most at night time. She uh, coughs and sneezes in her sleep. I then changed attachments on the hoover and started to hoover the mattress. Ada wanted to get involved as well. I then flipped the mattress and hoovered the other side as well. 
I then proceeded to put my mattress protector on the bed. I bought this mattress protector from Amazon. It is basically a cover that covers the whole mattress so it, it encases the mattress completely so that the dust mites can't get out. Unfortunately, you can't get rid of dust mites, they're still there, but, but hopefully it will mean that they won't aggravate Maeve's allergies. I also like to use one of these dry nights bed pads. These are amazing and I use them on all my children's beds. They're great if they are taken ill in the night, if they are sick, it soaks everything up, or if they have an accident. Maeve's only four, so she's still little. And it just means that if we do have any accidents or sickness in the night, it's a lot easier to clean up. So that goes on next. I take off the little sticky pads and stick it down. I'm then going to put on another mattress protector. This is what I used to use on her bed before I bought her special dust mite one. Um, so I just thought I would put this on as well. I am then putting on my dust mite pillow protectors. So these are a similar thing to the mattress protector and these just go over your pillowcases. So first of all, I'm putting the dust mite protector on first and then just her normal pillowcases on top of that. I'm then putting on her normal bed sheet. I then needed to deep clean underneath her bed. So I'm pulling out all the boxes from underneath her bed and then I'm hoovering underneath. Really, I would recommend pulling the bed out to do this, but I recently changed Maeve's room around so I knew it wasn't too bad over there and that I could get away with a quick hoover underneath. Soft furnishings should be kept to a minimum if you have a um, dust mite allergy sufferer or you need to make sure they are washable so that you can wash them on a hot 60 degree wash regularly. So I have removed all those cushions so that I can give them a wash in the washing machine. I decided not to wash her canopy today so I'm just giving that a freshen up with some Febreze. I am then putting her freshly washed cushions back in her reading nook. As you can see, Ada loves playing in here. I washed Maeve's duvet, which is why I had to wait for it to dry before I could put it back on her bed. Her duvet has now been washed and tumbled, so I'm able to put it inside the duvet protector that I have bought from Amazon. I will link this down below. This took me longer than I care to admit to get nice and straight. Once the duvet was inside the duvet protector, I could then put her normal cotton duvet cover on top. I then turned her bed out so that it could air because dust mites thrive on damp environments. So if you allow your bed to air and dry it out, they don't thrive as much. I then began to sort through Maeve's soft toys. Maeve has a lot of soft toys in her room and if you are trying to combat a dust allergy, you should try and minimize the amount of soft toys. I don't want to get rid of all her soft toys, but I do want to have less. So the aim of this exercise is to reduce the amount of soft toys she has by half. So I'm just dividing the pile into what we're going to keep and what we're going to donate. Lastly, I'm just going around her room and giving it a really good hoover. May's rugs are now washed and dried, so I'm able to put those back in her bedroom. And the deep clean is finished. But I'm gonna hold it together This ain't forever Need a shot and then a beat Somewhere to let up some steam I'm not the one to say never Never say never Been playing it down But I'm so getting tired Now won't you meet high Thank you so much for watching.
you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the deep clean that I did on May's bedroom. And I hope that if you have a child or someone in your family that is suffering with their allergies, that these tips do help you combat them. If you did enjoy it, then please do like it and please do subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.